So the Red Bios Rebellion team, or RBRT, came out with a new revision of the Red Bios editor. They there's been an editor out there that we've been utilizing for other GPUs. They just came up with a new revision so we can utilize it with the Navi GPUs or the RX 5000 series. Now, not all cards are supported yet, uh, but it is certainly uh, a capable device. For example, when I say not all cards, the 55 uh, the 5, 55000 series. But uh, there is a good guide uh, out there. I'll have this article linked in the description. I'm not going to go through the basics because a number of other people covered it. Uh, Red Panda Mining, matter of fact, covered a video on how to initially do this. I'm just going to go through a couple steps that I've noticed as Why? well. The Red BIOS editor and the more uh, power tool kind of work hand in hand with each other. And the most specific thing that I want to share with you is about timings. But you first want to always, always, always back up your GPU BIOS. Do not just do this and not back up your GPU BIOS. So you go to the Tech Power Ups, the GPU Z, click this little arrow, hit save the file, and save that somewhere where you can keep it safe. And then you can open up, download and open up the Red BIOS editor, hit load load the BIOS of your choice. I have the stock uh, 5700 and the XT one because I can. I did a video on how to force flash your BIOS or your GPU and I showed how to do this in the past. This tool is just allowing us to edit a little bit more especially memory timings which is what we're gonna need to get the best hash rate for mining Ethereum. So I have the ASRock Challenger RX 5700, but I'm applying an XT BIOS. It's worked for me before. I have no concerns. And then I can also load a custom power play table if I choose to do so. So right now, I, for example, I can load my Ethereum Undervolt Best 1 or Best 2. And then the last tab, which is most important, is VRAM timings. Now the top one is K4Z which is Samsung the bottom one is MT6 which is micron memory now unfortunately I can't see what I have micron or Samsung unless I open up to GPU which I should have done when I did my teardown but I didn't but this will get you covered either way you simply want to copy the 1500 uh, megahertz table or timings to all the other timings below it. Don't even bother trying to do the 1250 or 1000. It's not going to work. It's just going to brick your GPU. Then you switch over to the next one, Micron, and you do the same thing. 1500, copy it over to 1750, 1800, 1875, 2000. Then you're going to hit save. Save it and give it a name. Now you can make it as long as you want to for a description, but you want it short for when you actually flash the BIOS. Because once you save this file, then you're going to need to go to command prompt and run it as administrator. Now, wherever you save the BIOS, what I would recommend doing is save it however, whatever name you want, and then bring it over to the folder where you actually have the BIOS tool. As you can see, when I did my original video, I had ATI flash 2.93, but this is the new one is 2.93 plus, and I'm sure there'll be another revision uh, sometime in the future. But either way, you want to go copy that file, that ROM, into your BIOS folder or your BIOS mod, um, your ATI flash folder, and give it a short name. Don't make it too long. Just a short name, just so you don't have to type out a long string of characters. And because I don't have this on my C drive, most people would tell you to uh, unzip to your C drive. I just keep it in whatever folder I want. Go to the folder that I chose, come up here left click in that area, hit control C so I can copy the address, then turn to my command prompt and type in CD, change directory, control V to paste, and then boom, I'm in that directory now. Now I can run my commands, AMD VB flash hyphen unlock ROM zero. Zero is the GPU that we want to unlock the ROM for. In my system, I only have one, so that's where it is. And when I do that, it's going to go ahead and unlock and nobody's talking to you Bixby it's going to go ahead and unlock and then we can go ahead and run another string of characters now I'm not going to go all the way through the steps but I'll sh I will show you what happens in the end and I'll, well I will have the commands in the in the 
description if you like. So the next string is AMD VB flash space hyphen P or tech P or what dash whatever you want to call it hyphen F space zero and then the name of the run whatever whatever name you gave it and when you hit enter what's gonna happen is it's going to show a screen where it actually goes through it's gonna take its time it's gonna pause for a second so don't get worried but it's gonna pause for a second and then it's gonna show this right here on your screen if you get restart system complete vBIOS update you're good to go if you don't get it then something might be stopping you and and you can hit me up in the comments if you have an issue I try to be responsive uh, now what happens if you break your GPU well I'll try to be quick with this but you want a system with an integrated graphics into the CPU to where you can plug your display into your motherboard and be perfectly fine or you want a secondary GPU like for mine in my system when I was playing around with timings and messed up something I unplug the 8 pin and 6 pin power or, or excuse me the 2 8 pin power to my GPU rebooted uh, with the display connected into the motherboard to get into the UEFI and then to set my integrated graphics as my primary shut down the system or save that shut it down plug in the card and then reboot into Windows and then I'm able to flash the GPU back and you can run the same string of commands if you need to if you um, well, you're probably going to have to. You go to AMD VB flash uh, space unlock ROM zero, and then you flash it back using the original ROM that you had, and then you can try again if you're you're comfortable. But if you have a uh, a GPU with dual BIOS, you don't need to worry about that. You could just shut uh, shut it down, flip the switch on the Sapphire Pulse or whatever card you got, boot into Windows on that BIOS and then while it's booted into Windows you can flip the switch don't you're not gonna hurt anything flip the switch back to the original position that you had it and then flash the BIOS back to its original but always back up your original performance wise let me show you what I got here so before I even started I was getting around 54.25 54.3 mega hash in the upper left hand corner and um, it was okay, but I'm I'm drawing too much power because the it's it wasn't as 24/7 stable as I wanted to, and I was tired of of having to worry about it and having to reboot the system. So 54.3 is is where I was at when I did this. I got up to 55.6 at a lower core voltage of 7.755, uh, a core clock of 1250, and a memory clock of 1840 drawing about uh, as l sipping on some some wattage there I would say around the 85 92 watt area but to get the hash rate even higher we do need to increase the core clock so at 1300 core 1840 mem um, I was able to get at 110 watts I was able to get 56.5 mega hash but I wanted to go a little bit further the highest I was able to get was 58.1 but at a wattage of 122 or 125 somewhere in there and that was with the core at uh, 0.840 and 1400 on the uh, core clock and the memory at 1880 but that's that's not not everybody can do that and and specifically for me my system will crash to stop your system from crashing, or, or, or it will crash, the drivers will fail. It's not to stop this, the system from crashing. A tip I want to share with you is you can use the more power tool to lock the card. My computer or my GPU drivers would fail and then it would just go back to stock. So 1750 mem, 1750 core, stock voltage, I'm pulling too much juice and I'm, run, I'm, I'm not getting the hash rate that I, that I really would like. So with the more power tool and the overdrive limits, I set the uh, the graphics maximum clock to 1400, the ma maximum memory to 1000. I left everything the same as far as fan and RPM. I went to power and voltage, and I locked the max core voltage at 850. And uh, the minimum voltage, I set down to 650 in case I needed to drop it down some more. And then I set the TDP or the power limit to 12. Uh, 125 
and the TDC limit graphics to 125 as well. So that means that's the maximum that card's going to pull. In case the system resets, it will go back to those parameters. But the next step is the most important. It's the memory. If your driver fails and the system kind of resets itself, the memory is going to go back to stock. Well, if you go down to memory DPM3 and set it to 920, because remember it's double, so that's 1840, then even if the driver fails while mining, it will stay at 1400, around 1400 core, 1840 mem. So even if AMD is having issues with drivers or they're not fully optimized yet, they're still having issues, you can use the more power tool to lock your GPU at a certain parameter so that way if the driver fails, you're still mining at that hash rate. And that's really the most important part that I wanted to share with you is locking your card specifically for mining so that way you can get the best hash rate even if the driver fails. The only drawback is, is if you use your system for gaming or whatever, then you're going to want to reset that. And what I did is I set up different power play tables. So I have one for Ethereum. I have one for the 5700 XT stock or modified, uh, the Tech Odin one with Bearded Hardware and Gamers Nexus, where I got the maximum overclock while staying within my temperature constraints because they were doing it on LN2. I'm doing it on air. So I had to bring the voltage down and, and fine tune it. So I got the best gaming setup and I got the best mining uh, Ethereum profile that I could possibly get and it's just as simple as loading up the more power tool in administrator hit load choose a profile hit open write SPPT and restart the system and that is it well I hope you guys got some useful information out of today uh, thanks for stopping by check the description for links to uh, you know various things that we covered in this video folding at home red panda minings uh, like little walkthrough with the RBE or red bios editor and definitely hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.